Alright guys, um, I think I got it that time. Uh, I'm sorry, but the la but I'm going to have these two videos in two parts because um, my I ran out of space in my M.2 storage and had to set it over to my other hard drive. But um, we did find the Fertile Lands. This video is just going to be in two parts, which might be good for people because this has been a long video. <laughs> It's a good thing I caught it when I did, at least. I don't really know if I caught it at a good time. What the heck? How are you here? How the heck are you two here? Huh? Wait, what? Huh? I thought they wasn't supposed to be able to get here. Well, huh? I don't. I'm confused. Yeah, you're hung up. Get out. Ain't that big of a deal. Get out of here. I have no. I have no desire of getting the modern axe currently, so. It took me a while to figure out that they don't hang you up in the nearest cave. It took me a while to figure that out. I didn't know for some reason that they only hung you up in this one cave. So I do not want to deal with these guys right now. So I'm not going to. I'm just going to try to find fertile lands. I don't really think there's anybody here. I think if they hang you up, they kind of just leave you alone. Because the players that are not really good. That back there was just me low on health, not knowing that. Hold on for just a second. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Because I don't have a base set up for lines yet. So, the house. Farthest off in the distance. So, on a cliff is the right direction. This map is really extremely small. I found that out. Because literally on my phone would look like a... This... The distance between those houses... This house is... God, why am I shaky? There. Don't bother me, you stupid cannibalistic piece of crap. Um, yeah, red paint makes them not bother you, by the way. It does wash off whenever you move, though. I have all my snacks, so I'm just gonna pop a couple of snacks. I do not actually have any painkillers, so I cannot heal. Well, as I was saying, the distance between that, those big bunch of houses, and that one house on the edge look like a mile on my map. But it's literally only like 200 feet. <clears throat> so... Um, the Sons of the Forest map is confirmed to be four to five times bigger, which I'm going to be doing videos on it too because I'm current. I am personally incredibly excited for it. Um, I I've not even got to beat this game yet, so 
Comes out February 23rd for any of those who are wondering and don't already know. Yeah, it comes out the 23rd. So I'm actually going to have to tell my friends about this and how there was cannibals at the Fertile Lands. As you can tell by the way I'm talking, that's not supposed to happen. At all. They're literally not even supposed to be able to get here. And as you can see, my uh, paint is wore off. Because I went in the water. Alright, so now we are... Now that we are here, it's Fertile Lands, which was kind of where I was trying to get to, um, we can start building. That was odd, though. Uh, that should not. That was not supposed to have happened. Get over here, you stupid. No, I missed. Their skin is used as armor, by the way. I give up. But, um, I think it's time that we put ourselves a... Just... We'll do log cabin for the time being. I think I'm gonna do that pre-built, um, big log cabin. Even though I could probably build one cheaper. Actually, I'm probably going to just build one and build it cheaper because I want like a custom bed. I don't want it just to be safe anywhere. I want to be able to decorate it with my own stuff and heads, which is something you can't do with those, I don't think. I think the only way for those guys to get here is for you to lead them here, which I didn't think I did. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I led them here. And I think it's incredibly hard to lead them here, too. Because cannibals can't swim, and there's only one little tiny spot that you do not have to swim to get here. Which I think is the spot that I went through. So that might have been my fault, but I'm not sure. They're gone now, I believe. I shouldn't have said that because now I'm going to turn around. There's going to be one right behind me trying to kill me. I'm probably just gonna make the these two videos two parts or, or three or yeah two parts separate just do part two and three on them because um I don't really want to do that confusing all that confusion so I don't want to do part two or I don't want to do part two part one and two it just kind of is unnecessary confusion so you know what I mean I'm not gonna do that to y'all <laughs> yeah comment down below how you're locking the computer setup and how much how much better um, I can take the water out now but uh how much better the 
<coughs> computer videos on than the uh, other videos. that I did on my uh, oculus and uh, I don't think I've done any in this channel from Xbox I don't think but I might have if I that's weird so but if I did there's not no sound which is always a problem let me make sure my sound is recording right yeah alright just making sure because I cannot I can't see my recording software from the game I have to pause and click off I also could just look on my mic because it blinks when it won it's recording Alright, so now that we got that build built, we really need to go get the katana and the flashlight. So I think we'll go ahead and do that. As long as we have a uh, good, pretty okay stamina, we can just blitz right through it. Actually, I think we better save first. Just in case something goes wrong and we end up uh, dying, or well, dying really um, isn't that annoying. Because, see, when you're in multiplayer, your loot just drops and you gotta go pick it back up again. Listen, that gets annoying because especially when you go in the pit and can't find a way out. Ooh, a uh, no save came in clutch there. All right now that we're saved, I'm not gonna sleep because it's still day out, and not gonna be night till we probably exit the cave. And if we have some, if we have some problems and have to, and have some cannibals on the outside, there's no real reason to fight them. We can just bolt to the water because they can't swim. I really hope we have an energy drink left. I know we got some snacks left. This is a also a patrol route, so they they patrol usually about dark here. They don't patrol all the time. Okay, I think we're good. I don't think this is a major patrol route. No, I don't want to turn on sticky keys. Any of you guys know how to turn that off, please leave in the comments. Because I get like a thing every time I feather the shift button. And it keeps saying, do you want to turn on sticky keys? And literally it takes... It literally won't let me move in the game until I say no. I do not want to turn on sticky keys. And when you get caught with cannibals chasing you that is really not what you need so this is the easiest cave in the game yet it gives me the creeps more than any other one because it is quite literally the only cave that will not that the the, the uh, mutant can attack you 
in like a rope or without like going down a rope because most of them the mutants are below a rope and um which means that at this point though they just won't attack you it's not that they can't it's just that they won't see the way this game works is every candle in a cave has a set range that they will attack you and once you exit that range they just kind of don't even acknowledge that you're there you can be looking right at them and they be looking right at you but they will not acknowledge that you're even there they literally do not care That is the worst Apple ripoff logo that I've ever seen in my life. Except for the pear logo. That you, the one from GTA. Gas for a chainsaw. Which we won't need for quite a while because I don't really care about the chainsaw that much. It's also pretty hard to get. You gotta deal with a lot of means to get to it. Oh no, actually, not really. I think we can probably just go down there and grab it real quick and leave. can't really remember. We'll have to go back down there in my multiplayer server to test it out. Or not really mine, but my friends. So which is the one that we use. I don't know why I always think that it's smart to go the hard way. Or like to get over through the top. I don't, I don't know why. Uh, when you can literally just walk right through here to get to the torch. My mind does not work well. things can really go to heck. And lucky for us, it is still day outside. I also have a new keyboard ordered, and it's going to replace this one. It's a 60%. Right now I got 100%. That's a bit too big because I kind of want my mouse to be on the level of my keyboard, but it's not right now. Okay, so it is day. It's not going to stay day for very long. So let's just go get back to the island. Now, this is also a time for their patrol routes. I do like two a day here on the edge.
I hate swimming in a cave because this is what the water looks like. That head really scared me. That um, effigy, I thought there was a cannibal running at me. <laughs> My heart's a beating. So we're going to go ahead and save. And uh, this is go where I'm going to end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video.